country, your province, your city, the town that you live in, the place that you call home is so important. With home ownership comes the task of renovations and designing the space to make it truly yours. All this does come with expense and a dollar attached to it. How can you stay on budget? How can you make the place yours and not lose everything that's in your pocket? We're going to answer that question for you with the show called Design Matters. Let's go on and see where this takes us. My name is Shannon Jackson, your host of Design Matters. Today, we are here visiting a home that was built in 1983. The previous owners moved to British Columbia. Prior to their move, they had not done much to make the space their own. The new homeowners have decided to take on some renovations. They're going to make the space their own. This starts with sticking to a budget that they have in mind. So today, we're going to see what they have started. Come on, let's go on inside. They have brown on some of the walls. I see there's also an accent wall here that's also colored brown. Many different shades of beige throughout the living room. Looks like the homeowners have done a great job with some of the cosmetic work. But there is of course room for improvement. But before we can go forward with the improvement, we need to introduce you to our designer, Saida May. I'm Saida May and I have over 15 years of architectural and interior design experience. I love to say that design is in my blood. I can't stop myself decorating spaces, enhancing good luck with Feng Shui, and I like to make all kinds of art, even I paint walls with passion for design. I'm fluent in AutoCAD and 3D Max uh, modeling and uh, I'm very glad to be part of this project and I will share with you all my experience that I have. Welcome, Saida. Thank you, nice to meet you. Uh, first of all, I like the shape of the room. I like that you are able to see the staircase, so it brings more uh, space to the room. Also, I love that this room has a center, this wall. We will definitely work on that. But this family room, in my opinion, is a little dark. These brown floorings plus dark wood and these dark walls, we are going to paint these walls into a brighter color and all the furniture needs to be gone too. We will pick something interesting later. And also I noticed that there is no dining area and we will figure that out too. I see you've brought some drawings. Would you mind sharing your vision with us? With pleasure. So I prepared a couple of visualizations. It's 3D renderings. So now you are able to see how it will look like after uh, we have finished our work. So, uh, as you can see, this is the center wall that I was talking before. It will be great to put this trim in a rectangular shape, so it creates a classic look. We can put a nice dresser or console here, and probably a fancy mirror or another accent piece above it. Also, I would like uh, to suggest you to remove these old-style curtains and put this curtain rod a little bit higher, so it will bring a more European look to the room. That will visually make the ceiling look higher too. Another picture that I have, 
Uh, we will remove this uh, sectional and put a new sofa in a grey color. Also, I suggest to paint this wall into a deeper color and put some nice frame uh, pictures. So finally, we've got a dining area here. Something we didn't have before. Yeah, so I'm going to put a nice round table, probably chairs. This wall behind us, I recommend to decorate with the mirrors. It will add a reflection to the space for the, at, at this room. So this opposite wall, I want to put a mural paper over city. It will make this uh, dining area look so modern. And the last picture, it just shows our entertainment unit uh, with a TV and some bookshelves. Uh, so you can see and imagine how it will look like. Wow, Saida, I can't wait to see all of these great plans come together. Great Thank job. You. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Stay tuned for more of Design Matters. Everything is ready for improvements. Our homeowners are very excited for the change to come. Well, let's start! The central wall is the main accent of the living room. It creates the first impression when you enter the house. Designer of this project, Saida May, started with the trim to create the classic look. She just simply cut the trim and used all-purpose glue bought at a local renovation store and applied it to the wall. A few different rectangles give the wall dimension and creates a European look found in many classic European-styled interiors. The wall will be painted later and more detail will be added. Painted popcorn ceilings are quite dated. Our enthusiastic homeowners tried to help and remove the ceiling to make it flat. However, it wasn't easy because it was painted twice with the popcorn texture. The decision was made to cover the whole ceiling with a new layer of drywall. Each new sheet of drywall was screwed to the existing popcorn ceiling, leveled, taped, mudded, and sanded numerous times to cover the seams. Once the new drywall application looked uniform, the drywall was primed and painted. Wall color is the base of each design project. We decided to use a grey colour for the accent wall and winter white for the rest of the room. All the paints used are by Benjamin Moore. They're durable, splatter resistant, easy to spread and are fast drying. And of course, all of Benjamin Moore's paints are cost effective. A mirrored wall is another great idea for the living room. It gives the illusion that the room is larger and it reflects the sunlight throughout the room during the daytime. Faceted mirrors were adhered to the wall by using an industrial epoxy, creating a seamless look. Yes, the process of applying the mirrors to the wall takes a little time, but the end result is definitely worth it. We would like to thank Benjamin Moore Paints and Decor to Go for being our official partners of this episode. Wallpaper is not a thing of the past. There are so many new and modern design and color palettes that can be used in any room. In this case, our chosen wallpaper was the perfect modern twist for the dining room. The New York skyline is no longer a dream. Our homeowners get to experience it every day. The biggest wallpaper shop in Winnipeg, Decor to Go, provides us excellent service and helped us to make the right wallpaper choice. Decor to Go even professionally installed this high quality eye catching mirror.
Handmade furniture is always trendy in an interior design. The homeowners dreamed about having a live edge slab table. They found it and purchased the perfect poplar piece. Long and narrow, perfect for a coffee table. Our homeowners transformed the poplar slab in their very own garage. The first step is sanding. The goal is to have a nice smooth surface with no hills and especially no valleys. Once sanded perfectly, the surface was cleaned of all small particles and dust, and then stained. The final step of the process required the slab to be sealed. Epoxy is poured and spread over the entire surface. The new handmade live edge slab coffee table is ready to become the accent piece of the living room. And what a sense of accomplishment the homeowners will have every time they use it. We are getting closer and closer to the redesigned view of our newcomers' living room. As you can see, our walls have been repainted this milky white color, and we also have the accent gray color. Trendy, and of course, this room looks so much bigger with the new paint color. One of the biggest challenges that our newcomers faced so far was the popcorn ceiling. Anybody that has, decides to go from the change of a popcorn ceiling to a flat surface realizes that this can drive you insane. It actually, in reality, is cheaper and more cost effective to just drywall right over top. Plus, you're not going to go insane with the process. So Saida, tell us what one of the biggest surprises of this room has been for your design. Okay, so uh, I really love how we've done uh, this uh, mirror wall. I love these facets. So it brings a lot of light in this room now. So when we put here a dining table, the round one, you can imagine that it will be reflected in that wall and it will double the space and also the light. Saida, you've done a phenomenal job. I love the reflection and as you said in the glass, it increases the size of your dining area. And look at this. Yes. Great job bringing thank New you. York into your home. Thank you, thank you. It's a, a wall murals and uh, when we were on the stage of picking the picture, right picture for this wall, I noticed that we have this Empire State Building. Uh, I decided to cut it in the middle uh, because when you will see that picture in the reflection, you will be able to see the whole Empire State Building. I think it's amazing. I love that you can take in the New York skyline and views during any dining experience. It's endless. Great job. What's next, Saida? The next step is my favorite. It's staging. Let's move forward with Design Matters. It's time to decorate the living room for our newcomers. This hall table fits perfectly in the designer's idea. We bought it and finished it by using gray wood stain. It has now become an excellent wall accent and holds these handmade glass bottles from Spain and other personal items by the family. Beige blackout polyester curtains paired with milky white transparent fabric creates a cozy atmosphere in the room. The gray couch and framed family pictures also known as passepartout will definitely be a family favorite and can be changed up with different photos throughout the years to come. Accent pillows of grey, plush, red velvet, gold, white fur, and gold sequins completed the whole composition. Burgundy plaid added more comfort.
Persian rug and the Live Edge Poplar Slab Table, created by the homeowners, are excellent additions to add warmth to our interior design. We chose a simple and minimalistic entertainment unit for this project. Our dining area is set with a pre-loved and refinished beautiful dining table. Modern white chairs with wooden legs. We replaced the crystal chandelier with a modern lamp that has multiple bulbs. The table is set with some special decorations and now we are ready to celebrate the big day and reveal to our homeowners. Today is the day. I'm so excited to finally share with all of you our redesigned newcomers living room and dining room renovation. Curtains and chandelier have been hung, furniture's in place, but most importantly, our enthusiastic homeowners were able to help out. They were able to do some painting for us and refinishing of some furniture. And we were able to help them to stay under budget with a few tricks that we will share with you. I don't know about all of you, but I'm excited to check things out. Stay tuned with Design Matters. Wow, wow, absolutely beautiful, I love it. Great job. So how do you like the interior? I love it. I totally see now from the last time I was here how everything's come together. The panoramic view of the New York skyline and the mirrored wall. You've done a phenomenal job, my dear. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. How do you feel about everything? Uh, generally, we've been uh, following our 3D project. However, we made some changes. To stay on a budget, we found very nice pre-loved furniture and refinished it to make it modern. We bought this solid wood hall table for just $50. Can you imagine that? $50. And homeowners, they helped me to paint it in a grey colour and also we distressed it a little bit. This beautiful dining table we also found online. We bought it for $40. We did some refinishing work to make it a part of interior concept. I'm sure that the homeowners will love to have their afternoon tea on it. I love the idea of repurposing something and giving it new life. And the idea of the family photos. When did all this come together? Uh, this idea came up later. Looks great. It's something that really can be changed up over the years to come. Whether family photos are changing or if they even want to put an image of their favorite landscape. I think these details make the house truly yours. Also, we didn't spend a penny on these beautiful frames. We just got all the frames that our homeowners had and painted them. Another design project is this table created from a poplar slab. Again, we found this nice piece of wood, sanded it and put a coat of epoxy. It also helped us to save some money in our pockets. Great job. Homeowners, you should never be afraid to experiment and try something new. You've really outdone yourself, Saida. Great job. I don't just want to be a visitor, I want to move in. I think it's time to celebrate. Champagne? You bet. Cheers. I am so happy with the result, and I know how happy our homeowners are as well. We changed the whole look of the living room for the newcomers. Reorganized the space and added more functionality. With the simple design tools, we created a fantastic space 
for the family that they will enjoy for years to come. We created Ideal Harmony, and that's why design matters. Our official partners of this episode were Design Matters, Benjamin Moore Paints, and Decor to Go.